All right, so we're back with another episode. In this episode, we're going to go ahead and cover the Discord JS Builders library. Now, I've actually never really used this myself before, so this is my first time going to be using it, but it should be pretty straightforward because they do provide you some pretty good examples, and it's just really, really not that difficult to use. So here's like an example uh, that they have for us to uh, use. You can see that the way that it works is you import slash command builder, and all you do is just create a new instance of set slash command and once you're done setting the name in the description all you do is just uh call the to json method and then you would take this raw data and you would actually uh this is actually what you would send to discord now uh it should be pretty straightforward on how you can actually uh send this to discord because all this really is is it's just an object and then you would just add that to the array so let's go ahead and first uh let's do this let's install discord js builders so you can do that by just simply typing npm i or npm install at discord js builders so i'll go ahead and just copy that okay let me zoom in a little bit more all right so that's going to install all right so that's pretty much done Okay, so let's run our application. Now let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let's go over here and let's import from Discord JS Builders. And we're going to import slash command builder. Now there's a bunch of different uh, utilities that you can use. It's not just slash command. You can use this to build select menus, which we'll cover later on. But for now, we'll just work with slash commands. Okay, so now let's go ahead. Let's go on over here. I think it lagged. I think it restarted really quickly. It should. This should work fine though. Uh, okay. So let's go ahead and create our first slash command with the builder. So it's really easy. All we got to do is just create an instance of the slash command builder class. So we can see that right over here, they create a new instance, new slash command builder. So let's do that. Let's call this order. Command equals new slash command builder. Okay, and then all you do from here is you just call methods such as set name. And we'll just call this order set description. Order your favorite meals. Okay, and there's a bunch of different methods that you can call. Okay, so for example, if you wanted to add a, if you wanted to add the exact option that we just did uh, with the food right over here, where we had uh, the user able to select uh, cake or hamburger, you would do so by doing add string option. Okay, and over here, uh, you would have to pass in a couple of arguments. If I see this input slash command string option, let me actually go to the docs. And let me actually see this real quick because I've actually never used this before. So I want to make sure that we're doing everything correctly. So add string option. Uh, let's see. They should have an option. They should, they should have. Yeah, there we go. Uh, okay. So it seems like add string option actually um, gives you a callback function. Well, you pass in a callback function. And for that option, you would set the name, description, choices, which makes sense. So let's do that. So option. It's just that the dot the the auto generate doc is hard to interpret, but it's fine. So let's do set name. So the name of this option is food. Set description uh order your select your favorite food set the type i think we actually no we don't need to set the type uh because that's already set when we call add string option uh set required true and then set choices so for choices uh the way they do this is they pass in let's see they pass in an indefinite amount of objects, which is what we can do. So let's do that. So 
we'll do name cake value cake okay and we'll just keep passing in objects so name hamburger value uh hamburger i can't type for some reason and let's do one more let's do uh let's see pizza pizza all right and i think that should do it for this option let's go ahead and add another option so we can do that by just chaining these methods so after add string option, right? Because this will also this will keep this will keep returning the instance that will allow you to keep adding more stuff at the end. So we can go ahead and add another string option uh, after adding this one, right? At the very end, we'll just call add string option, and then we'll do the same thing. So option and then option not set name drink set description select your favorite drink set required set choices and let's go ahead and just i'm just going to copy and paste this right over here okay and now that we're done uh the next thing that we got to do is uh just call the two json method on the command so we can actually just delete this whole part because we've already converted it already. Uh, just make sure. Okay. So we've already converted already. So I think what we do now is we just do order command to JSON. And this will just return an object. Now, before I do anything, though, let me actually log this out so I can see what the contents are. Just so that we can be sure that we know what it is that we're going to be passing in. Uh, let's see. Whoops. Okay, so you can see that over here we have options, choices, autocomplete. Uh, so a lot of these values are undefined. That's just the default value, which is fine. Um, okay, so yeah, you can see that it's just a JSON string. That's or not really a JSON string, uh, but it's a it's a JSON body that you can send to Discord. Okay, so don't worry so much about data type though. But all we gotta do is literally just pass that in here. So order command to JSON. And if we save this, we should not get any issues. So let's go ahead and see our command. And you can see that all the changes that we've made are here, order your favorite meal. We can see that the new options are here, pizza, okay, Coca-Cola water. And it works the same exact way. So instead of having to create the commands from scratch, right, you can just use the Discord uh, slash command builder uh, class to do this, okay? Now, obviously, this still looks a little bit messy. So what I would recommend you do is I would recommend uh, you could probably put this instance somewhere else and then you can just like export it and then import it into the file. And so that way you don't have all of your commands in like just one file because this can become very uh, frustrating to manage if you just keep everything in one file. But hopefully this video made sense on how to use the Discord, uh, the Discord Builder Library or Discord JS Builders Library. So now you know how to actually use it with slash commands. Okay, so that's going to be pretty much it for this episode. And next episode, we'll cover some more stuff with slash commands, such as uh, different types of uh, option types, such as instead of just providing strings, I'll show you how you can provide users, Boolean values, channel names, rules, etc. So hopefully you all like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.